and our crew is coming in on approach down here as we end up another beautiful evening down at 79th Street here in Miami. So the crew is going to come straight on in and make their approach. Coming in on four, slow roll approach engaged. Cap's going to go ahead and turn and bring the bow in. And of course, we got the bow rail to contend with. Always a tricky situation. And our guy looks nervous as he tries to go over. Oh, and he gets stuck and he's down. Our guy is down into the drink. Tricky situation here because he's pinned between the dock and the boat right this second. And no, he's back. He's climbed his way up onto the dock pretty quickly and gotten himself out of harm's way. And our guy on the stern of the vessel almost falls in as the boat starts to pull off the dock as well. But man, he winds up pulling it together. And I can't believe our guy went in and got up on the dock that fast. I mean, that was a pretty quick situation to recover from. And I can't tell exactly what's happening here because the boat in front of them is trying to back down on him as well. So I'm not sure. I mean, our guy's in here on four now. The other boat's trying to come down, but they're definitely too far forward, and they're not going to be able to pull that off. And, oh, man, our guy kind of looks off balance just standing here in the background. He doesn't have his hands on anything, and our next vessel's coming in on approach. This one's always a tough one. I hate seeing people just stand there and with no, no hands on anything, no lines tight, nothing. All it takes is just a little quick throttle hand from the captain and somebody's in the drink again. So our crew's coming in on approach. Good speed. Cap's trying to angle it in. And our girl steps off, but she steps off with no lines. Kicks the bow over. Goes to grab a line now and our guy looks a little nervous on the stern. Goes for the leap and makes it. I wasn't sure for a second. I thought we might get a second swimmer in just a matter of moments here. And you guys can see the U-Haul off to the right that's starting to back down. That's always a good sign as well that we got somebody probably not quite as experienced as others coming down to the ramp. This is a very popular scene here in Miami. I just see a ton of people running these U-Hauls versus buying a truck. So kind of misses on the first attempt. And gonna begin the second attempt to bring this back down. Definitely getting busy, which is a typical scene here later in the day. I mean, you can tell the sun's coming down here in Miami and everybody's starting to come back in, so it's definitely starting to pick up. And our guy in the U-Haul is getting awfully close to the other boat. Um, we decided to go over here and follow this vessel in instead as they make their approach on the dock. But that U-Haul, I mean, gosh, they were super close to the other boat as they were backing down. So Cap gets him close. Battle starts to kick out on him. But he gets it moved back over. The boat's trying to drift off. But our guy's got his hand on the pole. Wifey comes over, lends a hand on the pole as well. And the two of them combined are able to pull it back over. And that should be good to get this boat set up over here. Just hang on waiting. I still don't see any lines around the poles. So we're just using the people as human lines to try and hold the boat here. Up, up, our U-Haul guys come off the trailer. And he's running into the boat that was behind him. When they launched it, they launched it almost on top of this boat. And now they're trying to back out and they gotta get the assist from this crew to get around him. 
Again, just as the evening starts to fall here, things get a little crazy. But welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. Of course, I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and we are down here, as we already mentioned a little earlier, at 79th Street in Miami. And it's just another wild day at the ramp. And here comes one of our jet ski crews in on dock number two. Go for the pull grab, and it looks good, and our lady will bail off the ski. Crew number two is going to roll in right behind them. Looks like there's a little confusion up front. It's trying to get the front compartment open. I'm guessing to grab a line or maybe grab keys or a purse so they can go get a vehicle. And our girl on the rear is already taking off the life jacket. She'll go for the easy step onto the dock. Here comes another one of our crews in on approach. So our crew in the Hunter Sports, they look ready. We've got some lines out on the ready and a couple people ready to assist. So caps off to a good start here. We've got one fender out on the port side. And cap's gonna start to bring it around. And it looks like, it's tough to tell, but it looks like the wind and current's probably going right to left across our stream because he's kind of drifting into that direction. So, first approach, he's got to back out on, try and get it reset. So we're going with the dual fender approach. we got a fender out on each side, giving him options. <laughs> but the one here on the starboard side looks a little high to do any good on anything with these docks today as the tide's so high. So... He looks like he's going for a port side attempt, but they're going to miss this time as well. And he's coming in at a funky angle now. Really needs to almost just back out completely and try and reset this one, but he's going to go at it one more time. But he's not going to get the assist he's looking for. The cap's going to try resetting this once again. Got to look out for the jet ski behind him. There we go. Back into forward gear. It's engaged. Heading toward the dock this time. Couple people on the ready with some lines. Got a good angle. And Cap leaves the helm and goes and lands the line himself. And our girl's off on the bow, and it looks like this crew will be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover. Remain a machine, take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.